Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Backbone. Last time we left off, we got a new location to come to, and it's this place. Welcome to the Blue Falls building. My name's Finn. I'm afraid we have a strict policy of admitting visitors who have been pre-invited. I have a delivery from Miss Baiwa. Yeah, we found out this character is the one that was actually taking the shipments of uh, meat. Ah yes, there's a delivery boy on the list. She's in apartment 1144, 11th floor. How do you like working here? It's a wonderful building. I'm lucky to work in such a good neighborhood. And what do you get for it? You want me to say I live in the basement? Would that make you happy? No, you make me sad. Yeah, well, you asked for it. So, how's the basement? Saves me the commute and rent. One day I'll have enough for a deposit in gas town. I hope it's worth it. It will be. I believe in you. Stay cool. Fully intend to. I'm off. People to see, deliveries to deliver. And that sucks. <laughs> hey, what do I look like to you? A lazy rich guy. Ah, you got that part right, but I worked for it, fool. <laughs> I'm sure you did. You don't live here. What gave it away? You're a striper, that's what. Wow, you got me. So, what's a pretty fool like you doing in a place like this? None of your business. It's my business to know the business of others. It's my business not to let weird wolves make me late. Ah, you got moxie, fool. I like someone who can make me laugh. You're hired. I... what? Ha ha ha, come on, baby, I'm just playing. The look on your face, though. I'm done with this shit. Ah, ah, oh, baby, your face. Hilarious. The Joker got a name. Your name's Nikki. People call me the Wolf. Even your mom? Oh, you're bringing my mother into this. You want to die? Nope, maybe a little. I don't see a fool like you around here often. Good. Give me a break. I'm sure you're a real big shot. Oh yeah, if you ask nightly, nicely, I can get you on the wolf hotness level, fool. I'm doing fine down here at my own level. Alright, I can tell your heart's not in it. Go on, off you go. Bye then. That guy was flirting real hard with me, right? If you hear any weird noises, my cat got neutered yesterday and is uh, freaking out in the bathroom that we have him locked in because he's supposed to be in a confined area so he doesn't hurt himself, so... His plants look better than most people I know. Definitely me. I don't know, you've gotten flirted with by like two or three people at this point. Maybe you're kind of hot. Concierge said 11th floor, residence of evil. Alright. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have been flirting with you. Maybe you're secretly hot. Did you ever think that, Howard? Okay, we got some fine art hanging out over here. Floor 20 committee meeting this Friday. Yep, and there go the noises of the kitty. Hello? Yes. Bajwa. Okay, so it is Bajwa. So it is a J, not an I. I thought it was a J. Miss Bajwa, got a delivery for you. Ah, the cigars. Right here, can you confirm the recipient's name? I might not get to enjoy them, but I am the recipient, Eloise Bajwa. It's following procedure, you understand. Oh, fine. Uh, what about the payment? What about the payment? I have an arrangement with Lewis. It's taken care of. Oh, of course. My mistake. Apologies, Miss Bajwa. It's no trouble. Oh, will you ask Lewis for another special case in a couple of weeks? I'll pass on the message. Will there be anything else? That's all, but take this for your trouble. Much obliged. Have a lovely afternoon. You too. Goodbye. Thank you, Miss Bajwa. Oh, and oh, any feedback on the last delivery? Stop prying. You can leave now. Fine. Okay. So you found out I was prying. Interesting. The fire escape? Is that really where I want to get out of here? I guess so. Can I not just leave back the way I came? That seems like it would be the better idea. Oh, we probably want to get into her place, right? Climb. 
Okay. Wow, interesting that the fire escape will just allow you to look in people's places. Can't reach it. Damn, my short arms. Uh... Climb? Oh. Oh, up there. Okay. Uh-huh. We probably want to crouch, right? Looks cozy inside. Okay, I'm being creepy. Yeah, a little. Got an umbrella? What am I supposed to use that for? What am I supposed to use an umbrella for? Am I gonna Mary Poppins it down there? Maybe? I, I don't know. Let's uncrouch. So, boom. Oh, we're gonna use it to pull down the ladder, of course. Okay, I'm a fool. We use umbrella. Bang. Guess I should get rid of it. Pockets are too small. Throw away the umbrella. Screw you, umbrella. Okay, I have an adventure game protagonist with small pockets. Interesting. Alright. City looks so strange from up here. But it's easy to forget real people are struggling down below. Yeah. Hello, Goose. Goosey Goosey Gander. Pet the geezer. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Oh, yeah, the geezers. They were saying I was a geezer sympathizer. They're talking about geese? I mean, geese are assholes, don't get me wrong, but... Shouldn't just be mean to them for no reason. And yeah, my cat's going nuts in there. It should be right outside of the, the back of the maid's apartment. Who really lives here? It's closed on a latch. Oh wait, it's actually open the tiniest bit. If I had something thin enough to slide through and lift... Oh well, shit, I don't have anything. Looks like there are renovations going on. Maybe I can find some kind of tool nearby? Yeah, he's really going hard, man. You gotta let me record, little dude. Uh, putty knife. Cool. That'll work. Oh no, somebody just saw me. Hey, stranger. Sirs. Hey. Don't care why you're here, saw you climbing. Nice moves. Yep, been training. It shows on your butt. <laughs> oh my god, are we getting flirted with again? Been a while since I heard that. That's too bad. I tell you that every day. That'd be lovely. Is that catnip you're smoking? Yep, want some? Nah, I don't fuck with it. I do. Bye, bye, baby doll. Bye, gorgeous. Okay. Man, we get flirted with a lot. We get flirted with a lot. Everybody wants a piece of this of this raccoon in a uniform. Bet the putty knife is thin enough to fit. Okay, just about. Easy now. Lift the latch and boom. Now I can lever it open enough to climb through. There's no one inside. Fuck, Howard, you're at it again. This ranks the second craziest thing I've ever done, just this week alone. I'm in way over my head. I need to quickly figure out who lives here and run. Okay. Desk is upsettingly tasteful. Expensive looking knowledge. Ugh, not this guy. The shepherd? That's our, like, god figure or whatever? Shepherd shrine? Maybe some book secretly opens a hidden room? Yeah, let's Scooby-Doo it. Uh, desk? Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, hello, mister. Are you lost? Uh, yep, that's right. I'm new, part of the hired help. You look funny. Yeah, I get that a lot. Shouldn't you do something about it? Are you too poor? Yeah, that's why I work for people like you. So what are you doing? Cleaner. Daddy says cleaners are absurd because their own houses are probably full of rubbish. Cleaners are people too, kid. I know that, I'm not dumb. Tell me about your dad. Okay, so you guys are apes. My father is the research and development secretary. He's the secretary of research and development. What about your mom? Mine keeps the house and helps father with the paperwork. How great for her. Mine is dead. Sorry to hear that, kid. When I grow up, I'm never going to do any work. Uh, 
Worst thing is, it's probably true. I, I mean, I don't think that's bad. <laughs> I mean, I don't think people need to work to find happiness. What do you do instead? Tia here just likes to annoy me and play with her dumb dolls. Uh... Maybe you'll annoy her more. You got a better idea? I'm going to be the like the big boss and have the biggest cigars. I'm not sure it's better than her plan. When I grow up, I will have hundreds of assistants. Real noble ambition there. They will be lucky and happy to work for me. Treat them well. No, then they'll be soft. I'll make them work extra hard so Daddy is proud of me. You're insane, but I need a favor. Daddy says a single favor can be priceless, but more than one makes you worthless. I will owe you both one great big fat favor. That depends. What do you want? My boss will be angry I'm talking to you. Let's keep it a secret. Yes, because you're being lazy instead of working. They'll be angry at you too. No, they won't, would they? Spending time with a peasant like me? Oh, they'll be pissed. Hmm, but it could be fun to watch you get shouted at. I can do that, you know. Shout. And what do you think they'll say to you afterwards? Nothing. I'm Daddy's favorite. Yeah, so why aren't you with them right now? We snuck in here. Why, there's not much here for kids. Just to see if we could. What about your parents? They're eating dinner. We had ice cream already, so we're not hungry. I won't snitch if you won't. Fine, you got yourself a deal, mister. Theo, take a peek. Can we sneak out? No, you peek. I don't wanna. No, you. No, you. I'll take a peek. Thanks, mister. Favor repaid. Sure. Okay, let's take a peek. Let's go peek. Peek through the door. A lion and an ape. And another ape and a li another lion, like a lioness. Interesting. And a gorilla. And there's the maid. They're carving up some meat. Hmm. Okay. Uh, can I talk to you? It's not letting me. Yeah, it's not letting me talk. Hello? I'm pressing the button. E, there we go. <laughs> so, is it clear? Can we no go now? Hey, you know what's for dinner? We didn't see, but it did smell kind of funny. You want to know what they're really eating in there? Oh yes, tell us. You're hired help. You have to. It's the law. They're eating flesh. The flesh of other people. What? Nonsense. Shut up. You can't do that. A woman kills the people, and people like your parents buy it from her. Ew, 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 ew. I'm gonna tell on you for being so gross. It's true. That's why you weren't allowed in here. But, but it's a secret? They wanted to keep it that way, yeah. Will they force us to eat it? I don't want to eat people. Don't do anything you don't want to do. Ever. No one tells me what to do. Good luck, you two. The desk is made out of beautiful, expensive, solid wood. You feel like the world could be run from behind that desk. Sniff it. The wood has perhaps been rubbed with scented oil, redolent of citrus and smoke. It smells like power and success. Feel the desk. Feels like a desk, but you wish you could run your hands over its silky grain every day. Search it. Few closed drawers, an empty mug, a chunky book, and nothing else of note. Pick the mug? Plain white mug with Father of the Year written in big letters on it. Open the drawers. They're locked. Whoever owns this desk has taken no chances. Inspect the book. It's a copy of The Nature Within Us by Jordan Reind. Read the back of the book blurb. In this seminal advocacy of pure reason, individualism, and power, Rain treads new grounds towards a truly utopian society. I get the feeling I know what kind of book this is. It's one of those hateful books masquerading as egalitarian philosophy that fascists love. Yup. 
Never seen a desk with a secret compartment, but that doesn't stop you from hoping you find nothing. Give up on finding a cool secret compartment. There's a time and place for fantasizing about secret compartments. Stop searching. It's too risky here to search more thoroughly. Someone might come in at any moment. Look at the pile of papers. Quick glance reveals a stack of various documents, letters and notes, all with annoyingly small print. Grab it. Alright, the name of the owner of this study should be in there somewhere. No time to look through them here. Okay, so do we just escape out the window now? Yeah. Alright, cool. Made a little bit of progress there and my cat has successfully calmed down. Are you ready to start? Let's do it. Alright, what's happening? Alright, so you barged into someone's study and stole a bunch of papers. I prefer the term borrowed. Of course, what were you thinking? There must be something important in here. Alright, let's see. Could you read out loud? I think best with my eyes closed. Where do I start? Start small. Something that looks personal. Maybe handwritten? Oh, here's one. It's a handwritten note on a scrap of yellow sticky paper. Chief Tanner, I have a priority order for you. Your head of biochemistry will now report directly to me. Burn after reading. Renee, your thoughts? Our buyer wrote this. Neat handwriting. Let's try to figure out who he is. Let's analyze this. Something specific caught your eye? Chief Tanner. Yeah, who is that guy? This Tanner guy is the head of something. That's right, I think our answer to what might be in the same note. Head of biochemistry. What are you thinking? Biochemistry probably means a well-equipped lab. Good point. You can only find those in Science City. Report directly to me. Mm-hmm. To give that order, you need some serious authority. It's a secret assignment. Well, yeah, but it's more pertinent that our buyer has the authority to order it. Okay, let's try to draw a conclusion. Chief Tanner must be managing the head of biochemistry, who probably works in Science City. Who's the buyer, then? The science minister? The president? Which works in Science City? The head of Science City. Science Minister? Right, he stole these dockets from the Science Minister. Nice, Howard. Wow, this is big. Scary stuff. So the Science Minister is buying flesh from Clarissa. What is she gaining from this? Let's see if we can figure that out next. I'm right here with you. Let's read on. The R&D report. An official-looking report on Science City branded paper. Research project number 76-5B, introductory report. Minister, protein analysis of the new sample is underway. The sample possesses hitherto uncatalogued genes whose functions will require time to isolate via RNA tracking. This can't be rushed. As I've said before, please have patience. Rene? Sounds suspicious, but then most science kind of does. Let's see if we can crack the meaning behind all this. What shall we focus on? Uncatalogued genes. Sounds important, right? Are they developing new technology? I mean, sure, but how can you find new genes? Protein analysis of the new sample. You understood, you understood that? It's something to do with food. Huh, I don't think it's that kind of protein. It has something to do with genetics. Our minister hired a biochemist, remember? This can't be rushed, as I've said before. Must be the biochemist he hired writing this. The biochemist is deliberately going slow. I'd say it's more he's being hassled. Sounds like the minister's being impatient. Let's look at the other papers. R&D? Oh, wait. Let's look at the other papers. Okay, so that was the yeah one, one you just read. I thought it went, the uh, option would go away. RSVP. An envelope containing a single sheet of high-quality paper with neat writing and a signature. Dear friend, I will of course attend our monthly celebration. I can't wait to see what delicacy you've prepared for us this time. T.N. Let's analyze this. Line do you want to discuss, dear friend? Who is TN? Mm. TN. His friend, duh. Another minister? Isn't that the president? Theodore Nashville? Are you fucking kidding me? No way. What delicacy you've prepared. 
What is he talking about? Mean shepherd's pie. Flesh. Howard, they're eating people. Our monthly celebration. What are they celebrating? Some sort of ancient cult tradition, someone's birthday, that they get richer and more powerful each month. Bastards. We're done with this document. Other documents. Briefing log? Leather dossier with Golden City emblem engraving. There are a few pages inside. My right honorable ministers, I wanted to summarize my official recommendation on the new street drug in circulation named Monkey Butt. Despite the insulting name, I don't believe it to possess significant ad addictive qualities. There's no widespread risk to the public health, so criminalization is not warranted. I will continue to monitor the situation with the cooperation of the police. Your dossier includes the detailed toxicology breakdown. Let's analyze this. Where do we start? No widespread risk to the public health. You believe him? He's, he manipulated the test results. Right, we know that he has access to a laboratory. My right honorable ministers. Yeah? The report was seen by the highest level of officials. Yeah, if they accept the report, those drugs are basically legal. Criminalization is not warranted. What does this imply for Car Clarissa? The minister and Clarissa sell drugs together. The, re the recommendation benefits Clarissa. If Monkey Butt is being pushed at the bite, then yeah, that's a lot of heat off her. Let's look at other papers. Uh, uh the police note. A blank page of paper with a small typed note, no other details or clues. Esteemed fellow minister, the recent reports of disappearances from West End have a clear connection. I don't know why you want them left alone. There's only so much we can turn a blind eye to. If this becomes a scandal, it's both our asses. Fix it. Hmm. Don't know why you want them left alone. Yeah, okay. I heard about these disappearances. I fucking knew there was a pattern. This is huge, Howard. Let's analyze it. Better look more closely at this. I don't know why you want them left alone. Why does the science minister even care? They're all being turned into flesh. Potentially, but it's a stretch. It's clear proof the science minister is covering something up, though. Recent reports of disappearances from West End have a clear connection. What's the connection? Uh... They're all from West End? Yes, but more importantly, the minister is someone close to him could be the link. Fix it. What does he imply? The science minister has to has a way to stop the police from investigating. To a point, but if the disappearance does don't stop, it's somehow bad news for the science minister. Okay, and we got one more, right? Letter to Daddy. Illustrated letter written in colored pencil. Daddy, I love you very, very much. Please give me money for my birthday. I want to buy a lizard. Bye. Kids are cute, even when they're raised by monsters. Anything specific? I love you very, very much. What does that make you think? Kid seems to love daddy. Powerful detection, detective. I want to buy a lizard. What's it tell you? Why wouldn't the kid just ask for a lizard? Business mentality. Or kid's lying and wants to buy something else with the money. Let's move on. Alright, I think we're done here. Right, Howard. What exactly is the relationship between Clarissa and the minister? They're partners. What does the minister want? What is he getting from all this? Flesh. Judging by what you saw in the dinner RSVP, these ministers and maybe the apes at large are considering lower class people a delicacy. Disappointed, but not surprised. Fuckers. And Clarissa is enabling this. What is she getting from it? Immunity. Ape ministers are a girl's best friends. If the science minister helps to protect her from the police or any other meddling in her business, then she gets to safely produce drugs. Yes, Howard. She has almost absolute power while the minister is on her side. The drugs are pretty straightforward. It's the missing people that bother me the most. Should we look into the West End thing? Yes, I'll get you the reports, names, addresses. We have to see if these people are connected to the minister of Bloodworth somehow. We investigate West End tomorrow. Right. There's no time to lose. We have to act now. There must be something else we're missing. An even bigger benefit to Clarissa. Something only an ape can give her. 
Maybe. There's got to be a reason it's the science minister specifically she's working with. Science stuff, then. That would explain why it's the science minister she's interested in. He was researching something, right? What was it again? Proteins. Right, proteins. They found new genes in a secret lab in Science City. Doesn't sound they're experimenting on aliens, definitely. Secret research only the minister and one scientist knows about. I agree. It's crazy suspicious. Could, could Clarissa be interested in this research for her own purposes? I'm not sure what these new genes would be. I, I doubt it's aliens like Howard's saying. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Be that the missing girls are all making drugs in that lab. Might be powerful. She wants power. She wants information to be on top of it all. Information is the most important thing in the world. That's why you and I are still around. We must look into it, but getting into Science City will be hard. I guess we could try. But first, West End. We're uncovering something incredible, Howard. This partnership is working out. Yeah, we're really doing it. Oh, great. Our takeout arrived. Nice. I'll get it. Oh, it's a goose. Hi, goose. Look at the goose. Okay, so... What am I doing? Am I just gonna go over here and eat? I guess so. I don't understand. What? Honk honk. Ah, here's your loon, buddy. Fly free. Drink with me. Something stronger than tea this time. Thought you'd never ask. Nice poisonous gin. You a gin man? Pour me a tall one. Cheers. Cheers to you, Renee. To me? So how are you feeling about the case and everything? I still can't wrap my head around it all. I know, it feels like I've never done anything more important. I'm glad you're by my side. Couldn't do this without you. Thank you, Howard. I feel like all my past work, my whole life, has been leading to this moment. So why do you even need me here, Renee? You're a witness to how fucked up things are, and you ache for other people. Fucked up how? Clarissa isn't just a bad apple, everything is connected. She's a symptom of a system totally rigged towards the status quo, damn right. What do you mean? Do you think it's a coincidence that you found Jeremy being butchered? The rich are literally eating the poor, Howard. I always suspected it was the case. So now we gotta eat the rich. City is rotting from the head, if you don't see it, you're blind. I see it now. When did you know? You know, I always fit in. People liked me, yet I felt disconnected. I was sleepwalking, then one day something cracked inside of me. Must have been easy to fit in, looking like you do. Comes with its own set of challenges. People underestimate you, but I can use that. So what happened? Last year, I was reporting for the City Herald. There was an incident in West End. It made me into who I am now. What incident? Pipes burst in one of the older buildings. The tenants called sewer services. It took them three hours to arrive. People boiled alive. I tried to report on it and got fired. What the fuck? All these people in areas like West End and Docks are invisible, neglected, and they die every day. The city's built upon their blood. I can't take it. I have to do something. Yeah, this is super messed up, and that is how the world works. It's built on, uh, the blood, sweat, and tears of the poor and minorities. Feel the same way after the bite. Good. Nothing will be the same again. You won't be able to pretend to be normal anymore. I don't want normal anymore. Right. It's time to change things, finally. I believe in us. Where have you been sleeping since... Not been getting much. I have this recurring nightmare. I'm listening. Running through thick black mud and then it swallows me whole. Sounds a bit like mine. Hmm? What is it? I'm falling from a multi-story building. It's on fire. Mm-hmm. And I just keep falling until I wake up. Classic. Yep. Are you close with your mom? Close enough, yeah. What does that mean? It's complicated. Complicated how? 
It's hard to explain. She's my mom. I have to love her for that, I guess. No one has owed anything from you, especially the love. Parents can be assholes, too. What's her deal? She's complacent, and she's got no perspective. Go on. She treats me like an idiot that she owns. My mom doesn't care what I want. I'm just something for her to project her needs onto. Yup. How do you cope? By not talking to her. Maybe I should do that. Someone brings negativ negativity into your life. Cut them out. Works every time. I'll think about it. You ever feel like no one truly knows you? Nobody ever will. Right. I can only know you filtered through my own perception. That's not really you, just a projection inside my head. It's close enough. I guess. It's just a bit lonely. We're lonely together, then. That's nice. Are you scared? Always. Me too. You're not alone. Yeah, Howard, I'm so tired. Do you mind if I sleep here? Close your eyes. Well, I'll just sleep on the floor, I guess. We got drunk and talked life with each other. Uh, tuck in? I guess I might want to do that. Yeah, let's tuck her in. Sweet dreams, Renee. Alright, now we're going to sleep as my cat freaks out some more. But yay, the game saved, so... Yeah, looks like we'll go ahead and end this episode of Backbone off here. We've got another one of these cutscenes, so I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time.